Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? Real quick, it's gonna be a quick video. Uh, man, so I need to talk about some of the stuff I'm reading online, bro. There's a lot of uh, people out here that are racist and don't even realize it. You know what I mean? Uh, specifically talking about <clears throat> the, uh, to the, the two black guys getting arrested at Starbucks. Um, and I go to Starbucks all the time, and like people conduct business meetings at Starbucks. Um, and, and don't buy a cup of coffee or latte or whatever, man. Like Starbucks is known as like a like a, a community hub where people just go to just to hang out, man. They all, they like it was one of the first uh, establishments, you know, that advertised free Wi-Fi. So you can just walk in and get some free Wi-Fi. You know what I'm saying? It's like when when does uh, Starbucks ever kick anybody out for not purchasing stuff? And uh, you know, I tried to do as much research on the story as I could. From my understanding, they were supposed to meet with some guy dealing with the uh, real estate. Um, I know they, like, asked to use the bathroom, and the manager told them they have to make a purchase first. I guess. I guess that's a setup. I don't know. I don't... Honestly, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't understand why you can't allow someone to use a public restroom without making a purchase. Would you want them to do shit on your floor? Go outside and take a shit? I don't know. But, uh, excuse my language. Actually, no, I don't care. Uh, but they just, you know, sat down, and the manager, you know, made it a big deal to kick them out of the uh, the the, uh, the Starbucks. <clears throat> and some people are making the argument, well, they should have made a purchase, you know. Uh, well, if that's the case, then everybody who walks into Starbucks, including myself and a lot of other people that I know that don't make a purchase, just go there to, to meet people and handle conduct personal meetings or business meetings they should be uh, arrested for trespassing too you know what I'm saying and I'm not calling the the manager racist for kicking them out you know there was definitely something going on that was discriminatory but there's a lot of people trying to excuse the fact that uh, we're trying to justify the fact that they were kicked out because they were trespassing it's not you, you can't trespass into a, a public place that anyone's allowed to go into. You know what I'm saying? How do you trespass in McDonald's? So what if I don't? I'm not planning to like purchase something from McDonald's. You know, I'm there. I'm not. Uh, they were wanting to kick me out because I'm in a seat and a paying customer was coming in, and you know, and I'm I'm taking from a pay. I'm causing them to lose money. You know, that's one thing. But I mean, if I'm not bothering anybody. It's a public place, you know? That's like saying you can't walk into Walmart and window shop. I have to buy something because I walked into Walmart? Nah, not really. So I just challenge you to really think about that, man. I, a lot of people are, are racist or have discriminatory terry views and don't even realize it. Man, sometimes we got to look in the mirror and just really think. You know what I'm saying? I'm open to feedback. I'm open. Uh, if you want to debate about it, we can you know what I'm saying? Just be uh, respectful of everybody, you know? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm welcome. I'm open to listening, seeing, and hearing your your uh, point of view. But if I disagree with it, I disagree with it, you know? Don't be mad if I disagree. I'll try not to be mad if you don't, but I, I really want you to see things from, from a, a black man's perspective, right? Yeah. It don't look good. Sometimes... Sometimes it's not it's not about the uh the intention, bro. It's about it's about the perception. It's about the uh the way things look. And sometimes you got to you got to be open to that. Even if, you know, that's not what you really meant or intended it for the intended intended for it to be inside. And I applaud the uh, CEO of Starbucks for coming out and apologizing. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't it doesn't look good for him and for him to just step up and apologize. That's that's a real good look. You know. It it doesn't look good from the the manager's uh the store manager's standpoint, and from my understanding, she's been terminated from the company. I guess that's what they felt like they needed to do. You know, that's a look good on that's a good look on on corporate. You know, so it does come off as being discriminatory. It does come off as being racist. I don't know if she's racist. Not enough evidence, but some of the comments and things that people are saying they're not being uh, they're not being open. Uh, you know, they're looking at both sides of. Of what's going on but that's that's my uh two cents appreciate you tuning in let me know what you think again please be respectful in the comments you know what i'm saying thank you